Hi everyone, this is Helen Harmon Bellino in my little lockdown studio in a two bedroom apartment in Oakley. And um, while this shut lockdown's on, I thought I'd just take the opportunity to do a little tutorial for you. Because I know some of you have been grappling with the classical mosaic technique, or some people call it keystoning. So I thought I'd give you a little few tips and show you how it's done. So um, you'll see here I've got a piece of glass. And I'm going to show you the shapes that you need to create to do this kind of work. Um, I forgot to get my ruler. Never mind, I'll just do it freehand. So normally I would do this with a ruler. I'm just making these shapes with stained glass, but you can do this with any medium. Obviously not this scoring technique, but you might need to cut each one by hand if you're doing it with other mediums. So if I'm using ceramic tiles or stained glass like this where I can make a strip, it's quite simple then to make the shapes that you need. So squares, you need squares. And then you can place your nipper on a bit of an angle to create that shape. And then the other angle, put it the other way to create that shape. And then straight again. And just by doing that, I've actually created the shapes that you... The only shapes you really need to do this kind of classical mosaic technique. So we've got a square. And then we've got this four-sided shape with the angle going that way and a four-sided shape with the angle going that way. That's not a very good example. And then we've got this trapezius with two angles. With these three shapes, you can do anything. So just give you a bit of an example. I'll make some more squares. Now, one of the common mistakes when people set out on this classical mosaic technique is you overdo it with your angles and quite often you don't actually need many so if you're going along on straight and you want to turn at just a subtle corner you can use one of these shapes and that's all you need just to just to turn a little bend okay if it's a steeper one you might use this double-sided shape to get you around the corner and that's all okay so sometimes we overdo it so if you're looking at a shape like this which is quite a soft circle, you're not actually going to need many of these because I'll just cut a few more of those to show you what happens if you overdo it. So I'm going to make some of those trapezius shapes with the double angle and I can just do this along my rod and I can get quite a few at a time so it's quite an efficient way of making these shapes. So if I had lots of these, sorry I've backtracked a bit, but if, if I had lots of these, I do end up with a circle. So that is how you can make a circle with classical mosaic technique. But you can see that it's quite a small circle. Some of these are not that great because I'm rushing, but obviously I would straighten these up. So that's a tight circle made with all of those trapezius. When you've got a, a larger circle like that, you may only need a trapezius on those tight bends there and perhaps there. The rest are actually mainly just squares or here and there, just one of those subtle angles. You don't actually need a lot, a lot of angles at all. We'll just use another one angle there and another straight. Because what happens if you overdo it with these angles, you actually counter counterbalance them. So if you've got a trapezius going that way and a trapezius going that way, it's just it's just a straight. Okay, you're not actually doing anything with that. So you might as well just use two just use the straights to create that. So what I do to figure it out is I always if I'm unsure, I take a straight and I put it where I want it to go. And if it sits nice and tightly here, then I know it's correct. If I put a straight here and it doesn't sit nice and tightly, there's a triangular gap, then I know I have to replace it with a with an angle. Okay, so that's that might just give you a few little tips and tricks to help you during lockdown if you're struggling with your classical mosaic technique or if you just want to give it a go. So have fun!